Hi, my name is Dr. Pratik Kagram and I'm one of the ACCS trainees here at Colchester General Hospital. As a junior doctor, you're going to be dealing with some of the most sickest patients that come in via the community into our hospital and they may even deteriorate here in the hospital. One of the things that we'll be discussing during this um, little uh, topic is about DNA CPR and about treatment escalation plans. For many patients that come into hospital, they're quite frail and elderly. They also have significant comorbidities and towards the end of their life, we want to discuss about whether it's appropriate to resuscitate these patients. These conversations are generally had by the consultant, but they may occur during your night shifts and these need to be escalated up to the on-call medical registrar. A do not, re do not attempt to resuscitation form needs to be completed by the most appropriate senior clinician in the hospital at that time. Generally, it will be the on-call consultant or the on-call medical registrar. Here it is an example of a do not attempt to resuscitate form that I've completed earlier. An appropriate addresser graph needs to be applied to all three pages of the do not attempt to resuscitate form or needs to be completed in full um, by hand. The date of the DNA CPR order also must be completed. Each individual section must be completed as well and appropriate reasons need to be given as to why we are not going to attempt to resuscitate this patient. Please also explain um, uh, with who the do not attempt to resuscitate um, discussion has been discussed with, whether it be the patient, the, relative, um, the relatives, family members, next of kin and other clinicians as well. A conversation must be documented in the medical notes as well and an appropriate signature needs to be completed by the person who is um, initiating this order as well. If a patient doesn't have capacity, remember to complete an MCA2 form, which is a Mental Capacity Assessment 2 form, which can be found on our intranet. Um, we can also complete a treatment escalation parameters form. So for these patients, we can give appropriate escalation such as antibiotics, fluid, oxygen, um, artificial nutrition, NIV or non-invasive ventilation and dialysis. Certain treatments need to be discussed with the appropriate teams such as the anaesthetic or the intensive care teams where such treatment can be as uh, such treatment can be offered there's also a box on here which says if a patient is for resuscitation or not for resuscitation please mark these boxes appropriately where possible as well and complete the previous forms as well which I've already mentioned a signature must be done by the appropriate clinician or by a medical registrar please also explain if the patient has um, capacity, who these forms were discussed with, and if um, significant others are aware. On the back of the form, there's a news escalation as well as there is on the news two chart as well. And if the um, on-call medical registrar feels that it's appropriate to change these vital parameters, he can do so, do, do so on the boxes below. For some patients, medical in interventions would not be appropriate and they may need to be started on an end-of-life care pathway, which would be a consultant-led decision. Such patients would then need to be started on the individual care record for the last days of life pathways. There are two booklets. There's a medical clerking booklet and a individual care record of the last days of life prescription record booklet as well. Again, for these patients, make sure that the appropriate address graph uh, boxes are completed. Make sure their allergy status is also completed. This is an example of the prescription chart here. For these patients, we generally give them three drugs, which is glycopyronium, midazolam and morphine. These can be completed in the as required prescriptions and we can see how much they require and if more is required 
the palliative care team can be contacted and we can start these patients on syringe drivers. For the booklet part of the ICR LDL, this will give us guidance and information as to what the patient would want at the end of their life, their nutritional status, and if they require any other appropriate care during their last days of life.